Thank you so much. Thanks, ma'am. Yes. I will make sure all the documents are prepared and forwarded to you once I get to the office on Monday. That's okay. Thanks so much. Do have a blessed weekend, Lady Maris. Okay? Bye. About the crate at the back. Okay, I brought out everything and I arranged them already. That's okay. Um, Maurice, would you like to do extra job? Of course, ma. As long as the pay is good, ma. Of course, the money is cool. <laughs> <laughs> you like money. Yes, <laughs> ma, you know, I usually use it to do one or two things. Um, no, I really appreciate you. You see, you are hardworking, you are very educated and handsome. Some young men would prefer doing fraud. Ma, are you advising I do fraud? No, 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 no. I'm only commending you. Okay, ma. Uh, ma, so what's the extra job? Oh, some customer that just left here paid for delivery. And Dennis is not around to take the goods to them. I don't know if you can take it to them since you know how to drive. You can use the second truck. Okay, ma. Um, I'll need a list and the addresses so I can take it to them. Will you prefer cash or transfer when you come back? Uh, ma, I prefer cash. I don't get time for viewers few years. <laughs> Very interesting, young man. Okay. Okay, let me get it. I'm coming. All right, ma. Mo, is that not better off? <laughs> don't ever say that. The life of my daughter is a priceless gift. Don't you ever talk about death. No, it's not my money, you know it. It's life. This life is a torment. This life, Mom, I'm tired. I'm tired. It could, it could, it could have been worse, Mom. I could have injured myself with a broken blade. It could have ended up in my eye or something. Zara. What if I was cooking? What if I was, what if I was frying and the, the hot, hot oil would just pour me, mommy? Zara! I'm tired of this life. I don't deserve this. I don't. Every morning I wake up, I ask God, why? Why punish me like this? Why give me this this cause? <sighs> Mommy, this is too much for me to bear. I do not yes. deserve this at all. And I'm tired and I'm tired. I'm tired. I want to Tell end God. it all. <laughs> God, don't ever, ever want his children to suffer, please. Then why is my case different? Hmm? Listen to me. You will get through this. We will get through this. Stop that. Please. Stop it, Mom. Stop it. Stop Stop saying that to make me feel better. You know that there is no way out for me. You know that. I have been suffering this embarrassment and shame and burden since I was nine years old. Nine, Mom. 
We have carried different tests. I've taken endless treatments that don't even work. If I were to be better, you and I know that it would have happened a long time ago. Trust me. You'll get better. Don't, don't, don't even sit here and tell me that I will get better. You know I will not. You know I will not. Just, just leave me. Leave me with my despair. No, this is my body. That will make me feel better because it's not working. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. I want to die. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. To be consumed by fear, yeah. Maybe I'm the weight of despair. Give you just when what's torn and bare. How about you show you where I'll be there? We love and so part. My darling, my angel. Seeing you like this always breaks my heart. Please, listen to me. I am very optimistic that in no distant time you'll be free from this sickness. And see, you will live that beautiful life you've ever desired. You're just Please. saying that, Mo. Um, all my friends have kept their distance from me, including Joan, my best friend. She feels, she feels like my, my sickness is contagious, like I'm going to give her epilepsy or something. <laughs> and she claims she's only leaving the friendship because I kept this as a secret from her. But the truth is, I hid it because I didn't want to lose her. I got tired of losing friends. I didn't want to lose my best friend. <laughs> but as always, I had another attack in front of her and her fiance. It was a total disgrace for me. Nobody wants to associate themselves with me. Sarah, don't talk like that. That's why you get it all wrong again. My darling, I love you. <laughs> you know that. See, you mean the whole world to me. You're all I have, please. Don't you ever forget that. Can I ask you a question, Mom? Yes, my love. Anything. Do you promise to be honest? Yes. Would you... Would you still love me the way you do if I wasn't the only child? Oh, Zara! I want to know. I want to know, Mommy. Zara! Fine. I would like to be left alone. Please leave. I want to be alone, Mom. Mommy, huh. mommy, always counting money. Uh huh. Princess, are you just coming back? <sighs> yes, mom. But I got home first, um, dropped my bag, and decided to come to the store. You store. should have waited at home. When I close the evening, I will see you. Wait, did you say rest? Huh? Mom, I've not seen you in four months. Mm. Anyway, I'm happy you're back. <laughs> The latest doctor in town. <laughs> Mom, please stop. <laughs> anyway, I'm so happy to have you back, my dear. Yeah. I'm so happy to have you back. Mom, who is he? Oh, that's Maurice. He works for me. 
Morris, are yes, you done? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Hi, good afternoon. Hi. Meet my my daughter, Dora. She just finished her youth service. Oh, nice to meet you, Dora. Same here. Okay. Have this one. Thank you, ma'am. Please. Be early tomorrow. I'm always here okay. tomorrow, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right, bye bye, ma. Bye bye, bye bye. Bye. Dora. Yes, mom. You mom? already like him. Mom, he's cute. So I'm just admiring him. Um, my treasure, your noodles is ready, just the way you like it. I'm not hungry, Mom. What? You're not hungry? If you were not hungry, what would you be doing in the kitchen trying to cook? Well, I was, until you walked in and ruined my appetite. <sighs> Zara. Zara. Mom, I want to be left alone. You see, your attitude towards me makes me feel like you're blaming me for what you're going through. But that's not fair. I've done nothing but love and protect you. You're the only thing I have in this whole wide world. And if anything happens to you, I will not survive it. You never get along with any assistant I hired, and I fired them just to make you happy. You know what, Mom? You deserve better than you got. I mean, of what use am I to you? Of what use is an epileptic patient to you, mom? Don't say that! My, my existence is already breaking your heart. Say it, admit it, mom. Don't say that! Zara, don't! I am trying my best, Sarah. You know I'm trying. I know you are. I know. I also know that you secretly hate God for giving you a child like me. Zara? A dying girl. As an only child. I know that you hate it, Mom. Admit it. Admit it. Shut your mouth. You only shut. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? See, Zara, I will, and I have never regretted ever having a sweet girl like you as a daughter. Oh, but hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Who told you that being epileptic is a death sentence? Who? Mom, you know my case is different. Please do not patronize me. Do not patronize me. Stop pitying me. Just stop it already. Zara, you know I've always loved you. I've always been here for you. And I will continue to be here for you. Mom. Yes, dear. Do you want me to be happy? Yes, always. Do you know what will make me happy right now? What is it? If you take this noodles and leave my room. Zara? <sighs> Zara. Why do you always turn on me like this? Why? All right, no problem. I will leave your room, but this is your noodles. Eat it before it gets cold. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a lie. David! David! <laughs> David, my man! Huh? Ah. How are you doing, man? I'm good. Where have you been? Bro, um, you know, I've always wanted to travel abroad now, even when I went to school and everything. And I didn't give up on that dream. Oh. I hustled until I got my visa, then I left, bro. Wow. Yeah. You look good! Thanks, man. What have you been up to, man? How far? Man, you know now. You know how to the be. Ah, no job, no job. I've looked for a job everywhere mm. I can find, yeah? 
So, uh, and it's crazy, man. Anyway, this is a ridiculous place for us to be talking. Except, of course, you have something you know important you want to do. Mobile important. One bar goes down. Oh, go Jerry. Nice. Go. So man, I've just been doing little jobs here and there, just to keep body and soul together, you know, hoping for the better. Well, that is the nature of the country we live in. You go through the hell and high water of schooling and getting an education, and then you come out and pass through hell and high water again of unemployment. No. Why do you think I left in the first place? No, Dave, Dave, your case is different now. Yes, now, Dave, you, you come from a wealthy home. And I remember your uncle, uh, that your uncle, that owns a lot of companies. Come on now. Even if you didn't travel there, eh, his wife would not even think twice before giving an employment. Maurice, I know now. It doesn't work God. that way, I promise you. Besides, it's not my father who is wealthy, it's my uncle. I know, but at least you're close to them now. Well, that is true. I As remember. a matter of fact, it's their daughter I came back for herself, my cousin. Is she all right? She's epileptic. That's bad. Yeah, well, it is bad. But what is bad is her response to all of it. She, she has become unpleasant, paranoid, you know, fighting everybody, doesn't let anybody get close to her. It's, it's been a crazy period. Wow. Yeah. Her mom, you know, is trying to get someone, you know, who can be close to her and help take care of her. And hopefully, you know, make her go back to the sweet old girl she used to be, if that's even possible, you know. But um, we don't know. I can do it. You can? Dave, I can do it. Look, it's not by saying you can do it. My, mom, my aunt, rather, that's her mom, has hired so many people to help her with this same problem. All of them has, have resigned because of the same problem. Dave, is it not just to take care of her? I can do it, as long as the pay is good there. Eh? Bro. Forget it, I can do it. Bro, you get paid anything you want as long as you can achieve the strategic goal of getting her back to who she used to be. Dave, when do I start? <clears throat> just tell me when to start. I can do it. Isn't it not just to take care of her? Not me now. I can do it, Dave. Okay. What's up, cuz? Oh, oh, welcome. Ma, Auntie. Mm. Uh -uh. What's what? that supposed to mean? What's up? What's just something you're doing fine? I, are you trying to mock me? Zara! He's just asking after you! Why would I do such a thing? Like you don't know how I am. He knows exactly how I am fairy. Why is he asking? I don't blame you. I don't at all. What's up, cuz? Sarah! <sighs> Dear, please. Ignore her attitude. This is what I see every day. Mm. You were trying to tell me something on the phone and I told you to come over instead. Right, actually. A friend of mine uh, has agreed to come in and uh, take care of Zara. Mail? Yes, Auntie. <laughs> no, Dave, it won't work. Do you know how many ladies we I hired in this house? Bad results. I think that's exactly why you need to try something different. Look, I've known this guy from way, 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 way back, many years ago, and I trust his abilities. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. I trust your judgment. Okay, and then bring him over by the weekend. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, so, what do you want to eat? Because I know I just arrived. <laughs> That's the anything you have. Don't stress yourself too much. Are you favorite? It's available. <laughs> All right. All right. Mom, well, is he not coming today? I'm surprised. He has never missed work or gone to work late. I just hope he's alright. He has never been to work late before, like ever. 
Not for once since he started working with me. Mom, don't you think we should call him or something? I mean, to know if he's okay. That's a good idea. Why haven't I thought of that? Uh, but with Dora, why are you so anxious over him? I mean, you barely met him. I mean, it's nothing. It's nothing, really. I'm just concerned because you need him to be around to make your supplies, that's all. But then he's already doing the supply. But mom, you still need to call him to know if everything is okay with him. He's your worker. Dora. Hi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What is what happened? Why are you coming to work by this time of the day? Uh, ma, I'm very sorry, ma. I, I needed to do something in the house. I'm very sorry. Are you all right? Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm fine. Uh, ma, I hope I'm not fired. Except you willingly decide to resign. Ah. Otherwise, stop talking and get to work. Okay, all right, ma. Thank you very much. Ma. You're welcome. What are you doing? Trying to help. That is very generous of you, but I got this, okay? No. I can't let you do that. I'm being paid to do this, okay? Besides, this is this is a man's job and not a woman's job, okay? So if you don't mind, you can go stay with Lady Cathy and let me do my job. Alright. Only on one condition. Which is? Mm, never mind. Uh, I'll just go. Lady Cathy. What a name. You see, Dora, there's nothing wrong in a woman telling a man she loves him or letting him know how she feels about him. Mom, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you sure you don't? Morning, Auntie. Morning, Dave. Oh. Hope you had a wonderful night. Oh, I did. And you? <laughs> Me? I can't remember when I had a sound sleep. <laughs> Auntie, you need to take it easy with the thinking. Or all this thinking is not going to help Zara solve her problems. Besides, you need to be alive and healthy to be able to help her. Dave, she's all I've got. And you are all she's got. Also, you have me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Ah, and please, Dave, mm -hmm. don't allow her to go close the gas cooker, please, no matter what. I've not been to the office in a while now. Mm -hmm. I need to go see what's going on there. Please, I'll be back as soon as possible. Please, Auntie, take all the time you need. I'll, I'll handle this. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank all you. Right. Please take good care of her, please. <laughs> Will do. <clears throat> Hi. How did you know where you stay? I... Are you stalking me now? No, 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 no. Okay, I saw your application later with my mom and it has your address on it, so I decided to pay you a visit. But it's okay if you're not comfortable having me around. I will just you... go. It's okay, you can stay. Okay, nice place. Come on, you know there's nothing nice about this place, so... A compliment was necessary. Hey, calm down. Look, Dara, I am not the man for you. What are you saying, Morris? Dara, I know how you feel about me. Morris? Look, Dara, I, I am not the man for you, okay? I can provide for you. I don't have anything. I don't have another source of income apart from the little change I make from your mother's shop. You know what? Just stop talking, okay? Since we're already having this conversation, Maurice, I fell in love with you the very first day I met you. 
I met you in my mom's supermarket. Not as a general manager or as an MD. Dora. I love you, Maurice. What I feel for you is totally natural and unconditional. Mm. There are no thoughts, okay? The love is enough for me. What's up, cuz? Um, I noticed that the kitchen cupboards are locked and that's so unusual because it's never locked and I can't seem to find the keys. Why, you want something from the cupboard? Oh, of course. What kind of a dumb question is that? If I don't want anything from the cupboard, why would I be looking for the keys? Did you lock it? Well, yeah, guilty as charged, uh, but for a good reason. Uh, what, what, what stupid reason could that be? Please give me the keys and stop playing. I want to cook. <sighs> Z, look, maybe calm down, okay? Your mom made some really nice stuff, you know, last night. If you really want to eat something, I can microwave them for you. Or we could actually go out and, you know, have lunch or something. Like old times, you know? David, mm -hmm. are you stupid? Are you dumb? Is something wrong with you? Hold on. Did my mom put you up to this? Because I do not understand this rubbish. Z, calm down. Okay, your mom wants you kept away from fire and it's for your own protection. What stupid protection are you talking about? Oh, wow. What are, you, what are you both protecting me for, actually? I guess you're also moving with me when I get married and I want to cook for my husband. You come there and protect me as well, right? Zara. What's that look? Don't give me that pity look. I, I, I know what you're thinking. You're wondering who, who could probably get married to this epileptic girl, right? Zara, come on, don't say it. Admit like it. That. Don't say a thing like that. Come on. I hate you. I hate you. I hate my mom. I hate everyone. I hate this house. I hate the whole world. I hate to die you. Z. Oh, yeah. It's for your own good, Z. Oh, yeah. Come on, please. Just go away. Get out. Zara, you can't continue like this. The anger, the bitterness, the frustration. Huh? You can't continue like this. It's not good for you. Uh, it's not good for you. It's hurting you and, you know, it's hurting everyone. Everyone? Did you just say everyone? They look around you. Everyone is gone. They all left me after my secrets leaked. Now they know exactly what I've been hiding all these years, pretending to be happy when I wasn't. They're all gone. Z, you talk like you, as though you're all alone. You're not. You're not alone. You're loved, okay? By me. By your mom. Wait, why? Do you even have any idea how much this thing you are doing is hurting your mom? Why do I have to live this way? Just leave me alone. All of you, just leave me alone. Okay, you know what? I think you've been cooped up in this house and this room for too long. How about we go out for a stroll? Yeah? Let's take a stroll, you know, like old times. Walk around. Oh. I'm sure it will help you somehow. Huh? Just leave me alone. Come on, Z.
State and then she just fell and started having a seizure. <sighs> oh no, no, no. Auntie, it was really, really, really embarrassing, I must say. Exactly why she prefers staying indoors always. I think you should go and talk to her. I mean, it was a really, really humiliating experience, honestly. Dave, I don't even know what to tell her. It doesn't matter. Just talk to her. It happened again, and this time around in front of everyone. I had an attack in front of everyone, and some people were even trying to record the event. But is it fair? Is it fair? I know it is not fair. Please stop crying. Wipe your tears, okay? See, I've thought about everything, and I have decided to take you to the United States. You can go there and cool off for the meantime, okay? I don't want to go to the U.S., Mom. Okay. Just make your choice. Any country of your choice. I don't want to go anywhere. Why my angel? Why should I? Like, the embarrassment in this country is not enough. I have to go to the whole world and let them know that I'm epileptic, right? Please. Please. Please leave my room. <laughs> I should leave your room? Yes, I want to be left alone, Mom. Why? Why are you doing this? You always want to be left alone. So that I want to be with my daughter. I've missed the moment we shared together. Mother and daughter. Mom, too. please just leave. Can you just go? Please leave me alone. Just go. Leave me alone. Just don't touch me. Just go. Go. Everybody just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me suffer alone. Leave me alone. My condition. Leave me. Let me suffer alone. Oh, yeah. Be 
Baby, just when what's going on, babe I'll got to show you where I'll be there We love and so hard we repair I found true love despite my despair I feel alive whenever you leave Hi, Jeff. Good day. How are you? I'm all, thank you. I hope you're doing all right. Yes, I am. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Hey, Dave, that young man, my your friend, he said that I want to take care of my daughter. Oh, Maurice. Yes, uh, please. I want you to call him tomorrow. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Auntie. He definitely <laughs> will be here. And I do believe in him, actually. Thank you, please. And I know you can trust him. Mm. I'll be going for a business trip in uh, Kenya in a month's time and um, it's very important that I wouldn't want to miss it. I wouldn't have worried about Zara if he were around, but he said he'll be traveling next week. Mm. Huh? And uh, I don't want to leave my daughter in this whole house alone, even though I'll be gone for a few days. And I trust Maurice with my life. Okay, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Zara is in very good hands. Your whole life? Uh -huh. Okay, tomorrow it is then. I will see him tomorrow. No problem, man. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what is, what is this you're watching? Uh, I'm seeing this one now. I was not really watching, but I was going through the papers, but... Okay. See the remote? What, what, what they like? <laughs> Hey, Dora, how are you? Fine. I see you and Maurice are getting quite close. Are we? <laughs> I have eyes and they are very active. You really love him, don't you? With all of my heart, Mom. And he feels the same way. Dora, you know you are my only daughter. But Mom, I thought you liked him. I do. <laughs> Maurice is a very interesting young man. <sighs> Mom, if it's about Dennis, it's been five years. I love Maurice. I know he's not financially stable right now, but he will. Please don't sound like that. Uh, it's not like that. In as much as I would have loved a man that would take proper care of you, but... <laughs> Your happiness is so important to me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> Love and care. Yes. You know, meeting you has been the best thing that have ever happened to me. Same here, baby. Mom knows about us. You told her? No, she figured it out herself. I'm sure she did. Hey, we have a blessing, okay? Okay, that's a relief. Yeah, so tell me about your mom, your, your family generally. Uh, actually, there's nothing much to tell. Um, my father is late, and my mom stays in my hometown. I'm the only son, and I have a kid sister. Um, I'm so sorry for your dad. That's all right, my dad. Died a long time ago. Yeah, so your kid sister, where is she? She's in my hometown with my mom. Why is she in the village? I mean, there are no opportunities there. Right. I know, but you know, I just want to have a well paying job and a place of my own, then I can invite her to come over. Okay. Yeah. You know. So you um, tell me about yourself and... <laughs> There's nothing much, you know, a little already. Your other boyfriend's uncle. <laughs> I left them all in school. <laughs> uh, Maurice, I was going to mention that uh, I'm leaving for New York in the next few days. Okay. And uh, so I'm going to need you to resume the job as we discussed earlier. I've already spoken to my aunt about it. Yeah, but Dave, Dave, a babysitting job. Dave, I, I am actually having a rethink. Yeah, I know I, I accept it, but I don't think that's the kind of job I want to do. 
I mean graduate. I know. But Maurice, all I want from you is to help me nurture my cousin and bring her back to her good old self. That's all I'm asking. And I know you have the capacity to do this. Here's my promise. I will make sure that the pay is worth your time. Okay. So, um, in that case, when do I begin? Tomorrow. Um, I've already told my aunt, um, so she's expecting you. However, um, she's traveling, so only you and my cousin should be home alone. I, I will be living there. Mm -hmm. Yes, with my cousin. As I said, my aunt is traveling, so you'll be alone with her. Wait, wait, wait. wait. She's going to entrust her daughter in my care. But she does not know me. Well, she knows me. And I know you. And <laughs> that's all that matters. All right, so in that case, I, I'll come over tomorrow evening. Cool, cool, cool. Come over. Are we going to get glasses? Wait up. But you look so worried. If there's anything disturbing you, you can I swear share it with me. Mom, it's... There's this friend of mine that I've been trying to reach ever since I came back. But her phone has been off. Uh, you can I swear visit her in the house. That's the problem. They moved from their old place. And I miss her so much. Oh, I can imagine. Um, don't worry yourself so much. I'm sure you can as well. Maybe one of these days you might run into her. You think so? Sure. You know it's mm. getting late. We have to yes. be on our way home. Okay. So let's... Talk everything already. Right? No, we have got us some things. Um, Ma. I got another job. I, I am sorry I'll be quitting this one. No, 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 no. There's no need to be sorry. That has been my prayer that you get a befitting job. Thank you very much. Ma. You're welcome. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. So, what kind of job is that? Um, it's actually a good job and the pay is good, according to my friend who got me the job. Oh, you don't know the kind of job yet? Yes, but um, I will know when I get there this evening. Okay. Okay. Um, Mom, I'll just see him off. Okay. Thank you very much. Good luck, much. okay? Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Do you know I don't believe you, right? Why? How can you say you don't know the kind of job your friends are killed for you? Babe, trust me, I don't know the kind of job it is, okay? Look. You know you'll be the first to know as soon as I know the kind of job it is. Come on. Okay, that's okay. But make sure it's something let go and not something that will get you into trouble. Why would you say that? Because I feel you don't want to tell me what kind of job is it? it is. Babe, come on. Have I lied to you before? No. I hope you don't ever. Of course I won't. You know that. Okay, you know I, I, I can't stay far too long without being with you. Yeah, I know. Same here. Don't worry. I'll bring you over as soon as I'm settled, okay? Okay. I love you. Love you more. <laughs> Auntie, you don't have anything to worry about. Maurice here used to be the greatest cook we had in school back in the day. To the point where the ladies used to uh, come to him for his recipes. Don't say. Yeah, I do. I just hope he hasn't lost the skill though. Of course not, but we have it. <laughs> That's interesting. It means I have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing, Auntie. I told you. All right, Dave. Take care of him.
Zara? Yes, ma'am. Come in. Oh, right. You are having your birthday. It's obvious, ma'am. Okay, dear. I want you to dress up. Come downstairs. I want you to meet someone. Really? Who? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Just dress up. When you get downstairs, I will introduce you to that person, okay? Okay. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay? I'm waiting for you. Come in. Here she comes. Hey. Uh, Mom, who is he? Um, he's Maurice and he's just been hired to take care of every of your needs. Eh? Um, that's the houseboy. No, Sarah. He's not. He's a graduate and um, he's on special duty. Which is? This is not a joke. Mm -hmm. Um, hey, Zadi, could you kindly get up and get out? Uh -uh. Z, come on. What? Mom, I do not need a baby sister. Tell him to go. Zara! My own good. I can take absolute good care of myself. Why bring in a good looking man to make me disgrace myself in his presence? Is that fair? Wait, is that what this is all about? Of course. This is what it's about. Do you know how embarrassing it is to have these attacks in front of strangers? It makes me want to commit suicide. Z, don't talk like that. Okay, you can't continue to run away from people. You have your whole life to live up ahead of you. What life? What miserable life? There's nothing good about my life. It's not even worth living. Just leave me alone and tell mom to send me away. No need to be consumed by Yeah, you behind the weight of despair.
Disney TV show. I told you. Sarah, what do you think? Sarah! 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 Zara! 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 Hi, babe. How are you? How are you doing over there? I'm all right. I'm missing you. I miss you too, my love. How was the interview? Did you get a job? The job? Um, yeah, I did get a job. Okay, that's good news. I'm happy for you. Um, babe, I will have to stay here for now till I get my own place. Is that a good idea? I didn't choose it. It's just the nature of the job. Okay, I understand. Hey, be good. I will, okay? Take care of yourself. I love you. I will love you too. Up yet? I'm almost retired, Ago. And this is becoming more regular than, than usual. I'm really worried. I think you should go see her. Ma, you said for me. Yes, Morris, I did. Please, um, I want you to start getting closer to my daughter. Since you be the only one that will be at home with her. Soon, they'll be going back to New York and I'll be going for my business trip. I understand, Ma. I understand. But Good. Zara is a wonderful girl. Just that the sickness is affecting her badly. It's actually not her fault. She... She does not deserve this kind of life. And know. you know how much she hates to be seen differently or sympathized with. You're right. Thank you so much for understanding her within a short notice. No problem, sir. No problem. Please. I want you to take good care of her. I would like to see changes when I return. I'll do my best. I'll All do right. my best. Thank you. All right. Jerry, okay. You can go back to what you All are right. doing. Thank you, ma'am. All right. Thank you. Can a man like this ever fall in love with someone like me? Who would want to be with an epileptic patient? God, why? Why me? Will I ever have the privilege to live freely like every other girl out there? Will I ever? Yes, you can, my love. Sarah, you can. Maurice. Yes, 
Please, um, I need you to go to the mall to get a few things for me. Okay. okay. So once you're done with what you're doing, come in inside and take the list, okay? All right, no problem. Okay. No problem. Oh, yeah. Oh. All right. These are the th list of the things I wanted to get from the mall. Okay. Okay, ma. Mm, okay. I am. Um, hold on. Take this uh, car key. You can use it in case you want to go out. It all will right. make your movement fast. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Ma. And that will be all for now. But don't be long, please. Okay, ma. Okay. Go on and raise the hope that's near. No need to be consumed by fear. Yeah, if we had the weight of despair, we be just when what's torn and bare. I'll got to show you where I'll be there. We love and so far we Are we going out? We? Oui? No, we are not. I am going out. Excuse me. Okay, then. I, I am driving. No, you're not. I'm driving you. No, you're not. I'm driving I am myself. I'm not going to let you leave this house alone. I'm <sighs> Sarah. What is your name again? Maurice. Or you can call me Uzo. I don't care. Don't make me hate you. Please step away from the car. Sarah, I'm not letting now. you leave this house alone. Step away, please. I'm driving you. Sarah. Sarah. What the hell? Sarah. Mom! Sarah, where are you going? Mom! Let me drive you. I found true love despite my despair. Mom! I feel... Mom, what is it, baby? Can you please tell your employee to leave me alone and stay out of my business? Maurice? Maurice? Yes, ma'am. What happened? He is stalking me. What is it? Ma'am. I only offer to take her the way she's going to. Ah, oh, Zara. Zara, it is for your own safety now. Mom, I don't understand. Am I crippled? Am I invalid? I can drive. I don't understand. Why do you keep making me feel like, like a prisoner? Like I do not have my own freedom? Oh, of course you have your freedom. You do. It doesn't seem like that. Just this one time. This one time in a long while that I decided to dress up and go out and have a little feel of life, you two just ruined it for me. I hate it here. I hate you both. I hate it here. Sarah! Sarah, but it's for your own safety. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, Maurice. Don't worry. Don't worry. I will speak to her when she's come, okay? Yeah. Hi, baby. Mom, good afternoon. So, my dear, how are you? Well, the seizure hasn't happened lately. Aren't I lucky? Oh, thank God. You are, and it will not happen again. See, Zara, I don't want you to be too hard on yourself. Anyways, see, I'll be traveling in two days. And they will be going back tomorrow. Okay, how long are you away for? Oh. Three or four days. Okay. Your employee is leaving as well, right? Oh, he's not. He'll be right here with you. Mom. Oh. We discussed. I can't believe you. I can't believe you comfortably leave me under the care of a total stranger. A man for that matter. See, Zara, 
You have nothing to worry about. Absolutely nothing. Maurice is no more a stranger. I wanted to be free with him, discuss with him. He's a good person, okay? I can take care of myself, Mom. <laughs> Look, he's talking. I can take care of myself, Mom. I know. Hmm? But see, you are all I've got in this world. And I won't allow anything to happen to you. Hmm? Please. And look, Zara, you don't even know when the next seizure will happen. That's why he is here. Please, my dad, try and interact with you. Promise, mommy. Please. Okay. I'll be in my room, okay? <laughs> That's my baby. That's my baby. <laughs> I haven't heard from Morris. And now I'm calling him, he's not taking my calls. Is that why you're wearing such a sad look? Mom. Come on, cheer up. I'm sure he's busy or something. Busy? Mom, we haven't spoken for the past one week. I heard you the first time you said it. You don't know the nature of his job. I'm sure when he's less busy, he will call you. I see you don't even see his silence as anything. Not when I know the handsome man my beautiful daughter gave her heart to. Mommy, please. Come on, Sarah. Mommy, please just leave me alone. <laughs> Look at her. Love again. No. Man, I really wish there was something I could do for my cousin. Same here, same here. But I believe we will figure a way out. Since it's not medically directed, I believe there's hope. Well, I'm traveling tomorrow. So please, eh? Do what you can for her. Please help her in any way you can. I believe in you. You do? <laughs> Wait, Dave, Dave, Dave. Wait. Just remind me, was there any time I performed Miracle in school? <laughs> okay. Because this year, believe, I don't understand. But I'm sure she'll be fine. Well, that's all we need. Positivity. You know, thanks, man. So I wish you a safe trip back. Appreciate, bro. So tell me, um, what's the plan? So, so I just hanging around till I get a better job. I'm Maurice. Yes, I want you to take good care of my treasure here. Please don't allow anything to happen to her and don't allow her to do anything stressful. Please. All right, man. I'll do that. My darling. Um. <laughs> Safe trip, mommy. Thank you, my darling. Take very good care of yourself for me, okay? Okay, darling. Maurice, take the back to my car. All right. Mm -hmm. ah, mommy. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye. bye. Excuse me, ma'am. Is there anything you want me to do for you? Actually, yes. Okay, ma'am, what is it? Go to your room. Okay. Pack your things and leave. Can you do that? Of course not. Get out of my sight. Go! For straight to you leave. Oh, yeah. Morris. Morris. Yes. Over here. You Morris. Me. You have 
less than a second to explain to me why the kitchen door is locked. Oh, is it locked? Hey, hey, do not play dumb with me. You know it's locked. Stop playing. But I don't have the keys. You don't have the keys? Yes, I don't. Give me the keys, Morris. Sir, I don't have the keys. Give me the keys. Please do not annoy me more than you already have. I want the keys. Hand it over. Sarah, you have to calm down. I don't have the keys. <sighs> I don't have it. Sarah, calm down. Calm down. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's just assume that you do not have the keys. Does this mean that I'm not going to have dinner tonight? Oh, no. I, why not? In fact, I made a delicious food for you. Oh. I've served it at the dining. Wow, you did? Yes, I did. How sweet. Uh, but please, enlighten me. You just confirmed that you do not have the keys to the kitchen. So how did you manage to make dinner? Um, um. I actually made dinner and I locked the kitchen and I can't um, remember why I kept the keys. You must be very stupid. You are mad. Do I look like a fool to you? This is my house. How dare you lock my kitchen door? Who made you the boss of me? Who made you the landlord here? Sarah. You have to calm down. I should calm down? Yes. Hey. Okay. Okay. You know what? To hell with you. You can take the key. You can swallow it. May it germinate in your stomach. Mass produce it and share it to the whole of your village members. Do you hear me? Sarah, all this is unnecessary. Out of my way. Sarah. Now! Go on and raise the heart that's near. No need to be consumed by fear. Yeah, if we had the weight of despair, we'd be just when what's torn and bare. I'll let you show you where I'll be there. We love and support, we we. Dora! Yes, mom, our phone is ringing. Oh. Maurice. Hi, babe. Hi, how are you? Hey, what happened? You got me so worried. I'm so sorry. I, I was trying to settle in. I miss you. I miss you too. How is mom? Mom is fine. Babe, when are you coming over? Um, babe, the truth is I, I, I can't really go anywhere for now, okay? I can't really go anywhere far for now. Okay, why don't I come over? Okay, that can work. Um, I'll send you the address. You you come over this weekend, all right? Okay, I can't wait to bring your arms. Same here. So you send me the address so I can come over this weekend. Yes, yes, yeah, sure, I will. Um, I I will talk to you later, okay? I need to go back to what I'm doing. I love you. All right, I love you too. All right. I can see someone is happy. At least now I know he's fine. But I told you. Yes, Lady Carty, you told me. Mom, I need to go finish up what I was doing. I can't remember employing someone in my company. I got to do what I need to do to assist. Besides, this is my company. Since, my organization. Who? This is my organization. <laughs> Mom, are we agreeing this now? <laughs> and that automatically makes it mine. Say so. <laughs> Wow! I need to go finish up, okay? Anyway, just be careful, okay? I am careful. Hey, what are you doing here? This is my room, I get out. Know, I know, Can you learn to relax sometimes? Get out, this is out of bound for you. Sarah, have you ever sat down to think about what this your aggressive attitude is causing? What are you saying? Have you? You don't even know me. At least I've heard enough from a people that loves you so much. Even if you've decided to make them feel like they're doing nothing. Especially your mother. Do, do you know the pains she's going through because of this, your attitude? Do you know? Get out of my room this minute. Sarah, it's just a simple decision you need to make to be happy no matter what. Of course. Just a simple decision. Did you say simple? Simple decision, you see. 
don't blame you. I don't. You don't know what it feels like to be epileptic. You don't know what it feels like to live with this condition every day of your life. The embarrassment, the shame, the fear, the pain, the sleepless nights. Shut up! I am still talking. I am the one who is sick. I'm the one who lives in regret for having this condition. For crying out loud, I can't even step outside of this house without the fear of getting an attack in public. I'm the one who has to live with the disgusting foam that comes out of my mouth each time I have a seizure. I can't even live a normal life like every other human out there. I can't even do the things that I love. I can't even have friends. I can't even keep a relationship. And you come into my room and lecture me about the simple things to make me happy. What do you think can make me happy? I do not blame you. I bet you don't have any issue in your life. You don't have any problem. You have never suffered anything in your life. Just get out of my room. Just go. Just leave me alone. Just go. Leave. Just get out. Get out. Get out of my room. I hope you're not about to stop me from cooking. Oh, why would I want to do that? Are you going to allow me to cook? Of course. I'm just here to keep you company. You know, that is if you don't mind. Suit yourself. So, what are you cooking? None of your business. Mind your business, okay? Right. Okay then, I'll just stick to your mother's order. Ah, what, what did you say? Please, no, no, don't, don't do that. I really love cooking. It's my hobby. It makes me feel better. Okay. I won't do that, okay? But we need to strike a deal. Okay. Zara, I'll let you cook whatever you want, however you want it, and whenever you want it. Only if you promise to stop being sad and aggressive. Are you trying to say that I'm a sadist? I wouldn't want to use that word. Okay, it's the deal. So do we have a deal? Okay, why don't you make a deal with my seizure to stop occurring? Hmm? Zara, come on. It's not the end of the world. I mean, people with your condition still live and they're happy. Mm -hmm. Those ones who are able to find treatment, right? Medically. Well, have I found any treatment? Zara, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Please. Okay, okay. Okay. It's okay. It's okay. You, you can cook. I won't say anything. I promise. Someone is looking all clean and cute and pang. <laughs> Must be a special occasion. Zara, there's no occasion. All right. So, where are you going dressed or handsome? You already know what I'm going to. Don't you? <laughs> I do? Of course you so do. So, you want me to believe that you are dressed like this to go to this nearby mall? Hmm. <laughs> Tell me something else. Zara, shoot yourself. I already made everything you need. All right? You know I'm telling you this. Oh. We had to do Zara. Mm. 
Uh, I promise I will not roast myself before you come back. I'll be back before you know it. Enjoy your special date. I will. Say me hi to her. <laughs> <laughs> Mall indeed. You're right. Zara, I'm sorry you're experiencing this, right? I wish there was anything I can do to make your life any better. But until then, I promise to always stand by you, all right? <coughs> I'm sorry, it was the poem for me. It's, it's not a poem, okay? Look, you're going to beat this, all right? You're just going to beat this. Mm -hmm. Just give it time. And I I heard recovery is inevitable. Alright. You think I will make it through this? Definitely. Just have faith, yeah? I'm rooting for you. Of course, I have faith. Yeah, good. And then you have to start by stop being angry at yourself or at anybody else. <sighs> then love yourself the more. Okay? Give it time, it will pass. Alright? Alright. You promise? Sure. Alright then. Have a lovely night rest. Thank you, you too. Here I found true love despite my despair. I feel alive whenever you're here. Behind the weight of despair, be riches, man, what's torn and bare? I'll guide you, show you, I'll be there. Bear up and so part, be repair. I found true love. Oof. Okay. Hello, handsome man. There's no way you're going to be with me. I'm glad you got the point. So, ciao, ciao. Let's go. Keep your eyes on me. Okay. Come on. This is going to be interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's that? Hey, hey, don't tell me you're tired. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Are you serious? <laughs> Why? Are you surprised that a sick dying girl is beating you at this? Sarah, you're not dying. Mm -hmm. Stop this. I hear you. Can we go now? Up you go, let's, let's go, go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Just that I have not done this in a while. Ah. Then you need to rest. My ties. Sorry, you Mas need to rest, right? Yeah, sure. Mazupu. Sorry. Okay, can you help me up? I don't think I can stand on my own. Yeah, sure. Come. Hey, hey, I didn't say you should carry me. Put me down. Yeah. I found your love. Mm, my room is that way. Yeah. That way. <laughs> Strong man, but I was beating you. <laughs> you wish. Just get you your favorite coffee. Thank you so much. Um, 
I am actually expecting a visitor. I hope I'm not breaking any house rules. No, it's okay. Have fun. Okay. I'll get you your coffee. Look at you, baby. You look so good. Yeah, yeah, all right. Thank you. I've missed you so much. <laughs> Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Really? <laughs> First of all. Mm. <sighs> that news. <laughs> what can I offer you? Nothing. I'm all right. Seeing you alone is enough. Are you sure? Yes. How is your mom? She's doing great and she said I should tell her that she misses you and that you should at least take our time to come visit. Come on, I've explained to you now. Hmm? Don't worry, immediately my mother returns. I'll come and see her. I'll come and spend quality time with her. Promise? I promise. Mm. Mm. Okay, I missed you. I missed you too. Sure. <laughs> Oh. Right? Thank you. You're just the only thing missing in my life, right? Call me by my name. I am your boss. Where are your manners? Seriously. Seriously. Get out. I need to rest. Zara, did I? I said just go, okay? And shut the door behind you. Now! Oh, yeah. Oh. Just when what's torn and bare, I'll got to show you where I'll be there. We love and so hard we repair. I found true love despite my despair. I feel alive whenever you're here. Look, Zara, if there's anything I've done to you, tell me, let me apologize. What is all this? <gasps> Oops! Zara, you did that on purpose. No, mistake. You did that on purpose. Clear that up. What is wrong with you? Hey! Do not yell at me at my own house! Are you mad? Clean it up! Do your job, house boy. <laughs> okay, okay. We are back to this, right? We are back to this. Died trying to keep me safe. 
They took everything from me. I had to sneak out from the house through the window when I realized they were not dead just for the money. I wandered through the streets of Ghana for months. If I was able to meet someone who listened to my story and decided to help. The only thing I know I had left was you, Dora. The thought of you kept me going. So sorry, Dennis. I'm, I'm sorry you had to go through all this. I'm glad you're back and safe. I thought you would never come back. But something in me still kept hope alive that you would return. I only fear that when you do, you... you Dora! Uh, excuse me, Denise. Baby. My baby. I know how much you love Dennis. I've never seen anything like this before. The thought of him made you to buy so beautifully. Then suddenly, you stopped hearing from him. One year, two years, four years, if truly you've moved on, and... Four years is enough for you to move on, Dora. And I won't blame you if you choose to move on. You see, your happiness is all that counts to me. Although I've never stopped loving you, I do not think there's anyone that would ever take your place in my heart. It's just that I want you to be happy. Just to be happy, Dora. I have never for a split second stopped loving you, Dennis. Me too. I missed you so dearly. I missed you too. Why did you disturb my sleep? What do you want? It's almost 8 a.m. and the breakfast I made is getting cold. Breakfast? Did I tell you to make breakfast for me? Hmm? Who sent you? Who said you could do breakfast in bed? When did that one start? Uh, don't be offended. I... Well, I'm already offended. I don't need your breakfast. But I... I, I... Hey, 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 no buts. Just go. I'll go. Hey! What do you think you're trying to do? You said you don't want the breakfast, so I'm taking it out. Take it to where? Did someone make breakfast for you this morning? Why are you taking someone else's food? But you said you don't want it. Leave it there. I don't want it. I won't eat it. I just want to watch it go to waste. I should leave it here after you scold me. Mm. Leave it. Just leave it there. Go! Oh! Uh. Annoying. 
Was that necessary? Hmm. Are you sure you're okay? Talk to me now. Um, Maurice, we need to talk. Yeah, sure, let's go inside. No, please. Let's talk here. What is it? Dennis. Dennis came back. His name is Dennis. I love him so much. Do you still love him? I don't know. I am with you. I love you. And it's been five years, so I've forgotten about him. You know, you you don't need to lie to me, right? Do you still love him? Why are you asking all these questions? Because I want to know. I, I, I don't want my heart to be broken. Hey, your heart is safe with me. You know that. Besides, even if you get to come back, that's if he's coming back, right? My love for you would have erased all I felt for him. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. So what now? You're just going to throw away everything we have just like that? Morris. So you used me? Use me to fill in the gap, waiting for him to come back, right? No, no. Why would you even say so that? So all this while you told me you loved me, they were all lies? <sighs> Maurice, please stop. Please. Look, all oh, this so, 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 so complicated for me. Tara, are you, are you breaking up with me? I'm sorry, Maurice. I'm so sorry. Dara. 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 I'm so sorry. I saw everything. It was really hot. You loved her so much. Of course you did. But you should have at least tried talking to her. I'd say what is that? It's pointless. It's what? pointless. Why are you transferring aggression to me? It wasn't me that broke your heart. Oh. Worries. of encouragement <laughs> yes same me and that's because i decided to take your advice and i started loving myself again mm, good mm -hmm. so what was that attitude the last time my ex visited what i, I don't Z know what you're talking Zara? about Zara. Zara. oh you saw me kiss her and you became jealous Sarah, I, <laughs> Are you in love with me? I am not. Sarah. 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 <laughs> come on, come on, stop, stop, Sarah.
Why do you value this tree so much? My son, you remember when your late father suffered from epilepsy? Yes, I remember. The one they said was on an attack. It was an attack. Because all doctors' reports proved that he was medically okay. But this is the leaf that I used to cure him of epilepsy. What, Mama? People say that he fell down in the middle of the road caused by the seizure and the reckless driver hit him. That is untrue. My husband was free from the seizure and the epilepsy was totally erased from his system when I prepared this leaf for him. But my son so sure. Because I am very, very sure. Well, so how does it work? Let's go inside. Then I will teach you. I'm the way to repair It's behind the weight of despair Be rich as men, what's going in there? I'll got to show you I'll be there We love and so part we repair I found true love Despite my despair It's okay, it's okay, come on. It's okay. It's okay. It was disgusting, right? Wrong. You look beautiful, no matter what. That's not true. That's because you always clean me up. What kind of life is this? Do you think, do you, think you can ever kiss someone like me? After seeing that disgusting foam come out of my mouth, do you think, do you think anyone can ever kiss? I found true love despite my despair. I feel alive whenever you're here. I, I think I might know the cure. Don't do this. Do what? There's no cure for me. Don't, don't give me false hope. Please. Sarah, do you think I would joke with something like this? I, I was not sure it's going to work. But my mom can be lying to me. What? Okay, let, let's do it. There's a leave I need to get from my village. Okay, go on. You can leave right away and go Relax. get it. Relax. It will take me a whole day to get to my village. And they hold it to come back. Not if you fly. I am not a wizard. <laughs> Stop being funny. I mean, I can call my mom's agent and you can get your ticket to your village. You can even come back same day, depending on how busy or less busy the airport is. Okay then, let's do that. Okay. I'll just go get dressed. I feel this is 
discuss it? Yes. <clears throat> Drink it. Are you sure about this? Yes. It's worth the shot. So go on. Drink it. All of it? Yes. Drink it. Oh. Sorry. 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 Bitter. Sorry. Drink it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. How do you feel? Hearts. Sorry. Ah, my tummy. What did you give me? Sarah. Ah, my tummy. What is going on? What? Your hearts. Ah, like there's a, there's a riot in there. Sorry. What is in there? Sorry, sorry. Ah! Zara. <laughs> Zara. Zara. Zara! Did I get it wrong? Did I get it wrong, Liv? Zara! <laughs> Zara! Zara! Zara, Zara, are you alright? Mm -hmm. Are you alright? Mm -hmm. You scared me when you fainted. I thought I got the wrong leave. Uh, How do you feel? I don't know. I feel a lot better. Did it work? Did it? Could that be my mom? Yeah. Okay, just wait here. Let me go check, okay? Yeah, I found your love This life I feel alive Whenever you're here You are not lost Alright, uh, who is in the house? Morris! Is she still looking at something inside of me? Wow! Wow! Mind you! Thank you. Tom. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh, my darling. My darling. You don't know how long I have prayed to see you this happy. What? <laughs> you oh. did this? Yes, he did. And even more. Wow. Guess what, mommy? What? I feel different. I feel so good. I, j I don't know. Something is going on in my body. I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> he gave me this, this herb. When I took it, I, I passed out. And, and when I woke up, I, I thought I had a seizure. And I checked. There was no foam. Nothing. I feel so different, mom. I no, mom, mom, you're not. So, it is possible you're free from epilepsy? Uh, maybe. But we can only be sure when the doctor confirms it. Hold on. My back, my back. My back, please. <laughs> you don't see. I can't go with me. It's my darling. Thank you. 
I do. Maurice, if this is possible, you have no idea what I would do to appreciate. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh -huh. All right. Um, is that Dr. Richard? Oh, uh, uh, thank you. Uh, this is Mrs. Lydia talking. This, I need you to come to the house to run a quick test on my daughter. Uh, yes, yes. Concerning her health condition. Please. Uh, right away, right away, right away. <laughs> I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Thank you. <sighs> my dear. <laughs> I miracle. A miracle? Yes. How do you mean? Surprisingly, after conducting a series of tests on Zara, it happens uh -huh. to be she's free. Oh! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Doctor, are, are you serious? Are you, are you, are you serious? Oh my god! <laughs> Mom! <laughs> I'm free! Oh my god, Mom, I'm free! I'm free! Please, wait, wait. Are you telling me that my daughter is free from epilepsy? Yes! Oh my god! Oh. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I need you to come and see me. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, Maurice, Maurice, indeed, you, you are, you are a gift. You are a gift. God bless you for coming into my family. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Ah. Oh, thank you. Finally, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saving me. <laughs> Mom, please get up. Sit, sit, sit. Sit, sit. Sit. Um, <clears throat> Mom? Yes, dear. Um, there's something else we want to tell you. Oh, I know it's good news. Oh, shit, 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 shit. How do you know? I will not use my ears to hear bad news again. Amen. Amen, Amen. <laughs> Amen mommy. Okay. Uh, mm. What is it? M Maurice and I are together. Yes, I know. We are together. As in... Wait, wait, wait. You are together as in together? Yes, mom. We are dating. What? What nonsense! Mom! What impudence! What audacity! Mommy! Oh, I got them there! <laughs> Why did you do that? How? You scared me. Are you talking about being together? Of course, we'll be talking about wedding. Mm? So, you don't have a problem with that? Problem? When I'm not a witch. <laughs> <laughs> now, Maurice, do you have a ring there? Um, yes. You mean you've not proposed? Not yet, Mark. Not yet. Not yet, but I will. Okay, no problem. Anytime, any day. It's only that you are happy. Both of you are happy. That's what matters. Thank I love you. you, Mommy. I love you, darling. God bless you. Thank you for really coming to my family. Sit, sit, sit. I found you love this part my despair. I feel alive whenever you're here. You are not lost forever in this To get the hope, find the way to repair. It behind the weight of despair. Give me judgment, what's going in there? I'll guide you, show you, I'll be 
there Pray love and support will repair I found true love despite my despair 